is February. We're celebrating leafy greens this month. And I have found so many different varieties of leafy greens. Bok choy. Collard greens. Dandelion greens. Mustard greens. Sorrel. Let us not forget lettuce. Swiss chard. Turnip greens. Wow, turnip greens. So there's a lot of root vegetables that we eat and we chop up the root and we throw away the greens. But the greens are good for you too. Most of these greens have in common that they're super high in vitamin K. Some of them are even high in vitamin C. Wow, I didn't know that. And they're a good source of other vitamins and minerals like iron and calcium and vitamin A. They're all high in vitamin A. Beta carotenes off the chart. It strengthens your muscles and protects your bones and might help fight against some kinds of cancer. So eating a diet that is healthy and balanced and high in lots of different colors, but especially dark leafy greens can promote overall health. Today we're going to make one of my favorite recipes from this really awesome cookbook. It's a free resource that you can request on our website donortcalfresh.org and we'll send that right to you. This recipe is called Swiss Chard Pinwheel Bread. Mmm. Let's get started. To start, we'll need to wash and prepare all of our ingredients. Look at this big leafy green. This is Swiss chard. Um, the whole thing is edible, but like kale, the stems are thick and crunchy. So, they will need to be prepared separately. Start by cutting the stem off of the rest of the green vegetable, the leaf, and then you can roll up the leaf to make it easier to cut. Have a big leafy burrito. <laughs> I like to then cut it in half so that you don't get too big of pieces. Everything is bite-sized. And then you julienne. Watch your fingers when you do this. And then you have these little bite-sized pieces. And if you're going to use the stem too, just cut it small. So that it will be nice to eat the finished product. Beautiful little pieces. Aww. I see a little heart for how much I love leafy greens. I'm just going to set these aside for another dish that I'd like to prepare later. 
Also chop your mushrooms. Mushrooms can be tricky because they don't have a flat side. So I like to chop them in half to give them a flat side and then cut them together. <clears throat> Next we chop our onion. Yes, that is a mighty big onion. <laughs> it also does not have a level surface. It's going to kind of roll around. So, what we're going to do is give it a level surface. Take all the skin away, but leave this end. This side is flat. We're going to cut right through it. Now it has another flat edge. We can cut these any way you like. If you want the long stringy onions, you just slice them down. But I want to dice them. I'm going to add the vertical lines. After that, we hold our onion firmly. And we add those slices. So they kind of fall away into a little bit of pieces. Now this recipe says to use a non-stick cooking spray, but you can use olive oil or butter or whatever you like to use to make your pan non-stick. Set it to medium heat. Saute your mushrooms and onions until they become tender. This will take about five minutes. Then add the Swiss chard that we prepared earlier. Toss this together and continue cooking for another eight to ten minutes until the Swiss chard becomes tender. When your Swiss chard is nice and tender, Add three quarters teaspoon of garlic, one eighth teaspoon of black pepper, and one eighth tablespoon of salt. You can add more or less depending on your tastes and dietary needs. All right, now we'll turn off the oven and set this aside to cool a bit. While it cools, we're going to sprinkle it with about two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Okay. Then we're going to prepare our dough. You're supposed to use uh, refrigerator pizza dough roll and I bought some fancy dough apparently and it comes on a wax paper sheet. If you do not have this kind of dough or you would like to make your own, which is totally doable, you will want to use a lightly floured surface and a rolling pin. Once you have your pizza dough prepared, you will want to take your chard mixture and spread it on the dough. Spread it nice and evenly, leaving just a little bit around the edges, like a one inch seam around each edge so that you have room to seal up your pizza pinwheel later. All right. Spread nice and even and spread Sprinkle with mozzarella. Says a three quarters cup. All right. Now comes 
the tricky part. Roll your dough. I spray my pan with non-stick spray as well. But hey, that was tricky business. I, I recommend if you're going to do this one, don't buy the refrigerator dough that's already on the wax paper because they intend that to be cooked flat. So, if you after you roll up your pizza dough, take the ends, hopefully you still have room on the ends, and you tuck it under to seal the dough and hide everything inside. log. It doesn't look like a pinwheel right now, but it will when we're done. Set it in your oven at 350 for about 40 minutes until the whole thing is golden brown and beautiful. Okay, it's been at about 40 minutes, and so let's pull this pinwheel out of the oven and see what it looks like. It is a nice, golden, pretty color. I'm going to set this here and let it cool for about a minute. In the meantime, I'm going to put some marinara sauce into a little dipping tray. It's like a pizza pocket. With a little more patience, I have allowed this to cool a little, and now I'm going to try it all by itself without the sauce. Because you can't really tell how good something is itself if you smother it in sauce. <laughs> mm. I love this. I absolutely love it. If you like vegetarian pizza, and I do, then you will love this. Because it's just like the pizza without the sauce. It has these, the chard has a bold green flavor, and the mushrooms and the onions just accent it beautifully. And if you like that pizza flavor completely, <laughs> the whole overall pizza flavor, there's some marinara sauce to dip in. This is my favorite recipe from this book. It's totally, totally awesome. You should try it at home. And contact us to get the book on delnorcalfresh.org. Thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful time cooking in your own kitchen. <laughs>